For weeks, The Sims team has been teasing a surprise. And now it's here. Daily Rewards. You'll be able to log in and claim new outfits, hair, objects, and even a cast trait over the next four weeks. Now, the daily rewards are divided into weekly sets. As we can see by the screen grab here, it says week one of five. Each week, you'll have several days to log in and claim a new item. If you miss a day, you won't have to worry. You can still unlock the remaining items for that week as long as you log in within the time frame. Like, for example, re week one here says log in three days within that week to claim all of the items. If you don't log in three days within that week, then you will lose these items forever. You will not be able to get them. They will not be accessible for you at any point after that week is ended. At least that's what they want you to think. Hold, hold on, and, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in that later on. Now, here is a sneak peek at some of the rewards that we can expect, at least within the next four months. Week one, we've got this bullseye dartboard, a night sky layered necklace, and a mini fridge and nano can set. Now, the mini fridge and nano can and the dartboard we already have in pre-existing packs, but these are brand new swatches, which I absolutely love. This wooden swatch here, it just reminds, it, it's so 70s and 80s, which is great. So loving the new swatches at the very least. Looks like we're going to be getting in week two, a mini bar and a new hairstyle. In week three, it looks like we're going to get a pillow. And this icon here is a new cast trait, which lets Sims learn skills faster with a twist. I'm going to get to that later as well, so stay tuned. And then in week four, it looks like we're going to get an outfit and a vending machine. While some of these items are brand new, it has been found over on Twitter. You know, these are recolors of existing content. So the practice makes perfect trait from week three seems interesting on paper, but there is a slight catch to it. Sims with this trait will learn skills slower at first, but the more they practice a specific skill category, the faster they'll learn it over time. However, if they stop practicing, the buff will wear off. So it's a trade-off. And this detail has been found by Rex Idagawa over on Twitter. Huge thanks to them for uncovering this little detail. This daily reward system feels really similar to mechanics that have been found in free-to-play games and raises questions about potential future monetization methods in The Sims 4. However, for now, it is a way to get some free goodies, which we all love, right? Now, The Sims team seems to be testing the waters with this daily reward system. It'll be interesting to see if it becomes a permanent feature or if they drop this like they have a lot of other things that they've introduced into the game. And if they keep it, it's going to be interesting to see how it might evolve in the future. Personally, I am not super happy <laughs> or ecstatic about something that just reminds me of Fortnite in The Sims 4. But hopefully a case of it's not going to be as bad as it seems. You might be wondering, okay, once this comes live, how can I claim my rewards? It's pretty simple to claim your rewards. Once it becomes live, you'll want to look for this Happy at Home login event in the main menu. There, you'll be able to see the available rewards and claim them when the timer unlocks them. However, there is a little secret. Don't tell EA about this, okay? Some players have found ways to access the items without logging in. These methods might not be reliable long term, so use them at your own risk. Here is how you can unlock them all right now without having to log in multiple times or even waiting for the event to go live. If you go into your game and choose a lot, go into build by, and then you want to go into your filter items. Click on Special, then Event Rewards. 
results. Now you'll notice there is nothing here. It says no results found. But if you click on colors and you start ticking every single color, all of the items will show up for you. So then you can just grab the item, put them in to your Sims world without having to worry about it. There's the dartboard. We've got the compact bar here. There's the pillow, the mini fridge. Then we've got the nano can and the vending machine. And there you have it. So these do come in a variety of swatches. Here's the nano can. Absolutely loving these wooden veneer type swatches for this. The mini fridge comes in matching swatches. And the vending machine also comes in matching swatches. Looking at the new dartboard, again, quite a few swatches for it. And a lot of them match with everything else. The mini bar has quite a few very nice swatches as well. I particularly love this one, the natural wood and the black marble. And the cushions have a lot of swatches, loads of different colors here, which are absolutely beautiful. And, and they're all simple as well, which is very nice. So that's how you can get the build by items. There has been a little bit of a thing where people have found that if you create, go into create a sim and for the traits, if you randomize the traits enough, eventually the new trait will show up as well. There we go. Practice makes perfect. These sims learn skills faster, even if they are a little slower at first. I'm not sure about the, the new athletic outfit. I have tried to get it to work by randomizing in my game, but I haven't been able to get it to work yet. If you have, let me know in the comments. However, it does seem that you can get the hairstyle early without having to worry about the event. To get the hairstyle, simply filter by event rewards and the hairstyle shows up right here. And it comes in, as you can see, a nice variety of swatches. And looking for the necklace, it doesn't seem like I can get the necklace to show up either through the filters. So if you've been able to figure out how to get the necklace to show up, please let me know in the comments below. At least we know we can get the hair, the cast trait, and the build by items without having to remembering to log in every day for the next four weeks. So again, that is just a, a workaround. EA might patch it out, so take advantage of it now while you can. My suggestion would be, at least for the build by objects, put them on a lot in a room and save that to your library. By saving it to your library, that will enable you to bring those items out whenever you want to. Let's talk about what matters most, your thoughts. Head over to the community tab on my YouTube channel here and vote on my poll. And let me know in the comments below what your opinions are and how you plan to use this new feature in The Sims 4 or if you plan to use this new feature in The Sims 4. It's controversial. It's divisive, I know. But let me know what you think down below. No judgments here whatsoever. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye.